Greetings to all and welcome to the next tutorial of Messing Hypermesh. In this tutorial also we will looking for auto mesh panel and we will see how to use such auto mesh panel options for this kind of meshing. Of course this type of component is quite irregular component and difficult to mesh only via quad element initially but once you go through those options you will able to handle such that type of complex geometries before starting this video tutorial i suggest if you not gone through my previous videos of massing please go through that then only this process will be more clear to you so let me delete my elements those i created and again i gone through some splits and i am going to just unsplit those okay see this is my original geometry uh, by default geometry is available in by auto mode convert it into by topo mode topology mode okay so if you go for mesh that complex geometry directly by some element size and element type and some another options those already i discussed by default those two options are checked on okay just go for mesh so this type of irregular meshing will be created so number of try element are there and you are unable to remove those try element directly so as i told you in previous videos also there is a proper way to create meshing and the main key of that uh, proper meshing is splitting the geometry so you have to decide where to split geometry so i will try to explain how to decide where uh, from where to split your geometries so to split your geometries you have to make sure some shapes some predefined shapes when i go for auto mesh panel look and here we have meshing style and some predefined shapes like is rectangle triangle pentagon and circle try to split the geometries in these predefined shapes if you have these shapes software will easily able to maintain the quad elements in those particular reasons okay so that's why what i have to do i have to split in such a way that either my geometry is triangle or rectangle or pentagon or circle okay so to do so i'm going to use quick edit options those options also i already explained just go for here node to node split node to line split and so on so i want to split exactly from here so i can use this options node to node okay so this is my first node and this i am going to select second node but if you want to exactly split normally i can use this options also node to line okay so this is the pentagon shape in this geometry we have five edges okay so now again you have to decide from where we have to split so look if i am going to split from this node to here of course that will be your rectangle shape okay means four edges we have uh, not exact rectangle but four edges we have but the problem is that if i am going to split from this node to here this line the problem is that whatever element will be created here and here they having too much sharp corners okay and there are chances of failure such elements so that's why i'm not going to split from this particular point just go for reject go for use the first options node to node so instead of you splitting this geometry from here i am going to split somewhere else like little bit i am uh, taking my point here for the splitting point of view and another point i am taking here so again this will be the pentagon geometry look first edge second edge third edge fourth edge and fifth edge okay similarly i need to split here okay here i can split because here the corner is not too much sharp okay when i go for split so precisely select the node this one and select another node here okay so now you can see these geometries all geometries are in the predefined shape pentagon this one is the pentagon this one also pentagon and this one is in form of rectangle so now you can utilize automesh panel algorithms those algorithm i will explain so here select the surface define some element size according to the minimum geometry feature so here five is sufficient just go for mesh here okay so by default some random elements are created here uh, make sure 
for the pentagon shape as i told you in the previous videos also this edge will be behave as a opposite edge of these two combined edges okay so make sure all the same number of element in this edge and these two edges these two combined edges so here we have nine element only and here we have 12 and 16 elements so what i'm going to do i'm going to create here 10 and 10 element so 10 here and 10 here so how much number of element i have to decide here here i have to decide 20 element exactly 20 element okay see here we have 10 edges uh, sorry 10 element and here also we have to decide 10 element because those are the opposite edges this edge will be opposite to these two and this edge will be opposite to this one so again define here 10 and okay so now the element look like quite washed element just go for mesh style and see the magic just go for select here quad element all element as quad go for set all this geometry is in pentagon shape by default if it is in auto auto decide options just change it into pentagon set all set all and mesh see so all element are now here we having the quad element okay this is little bit on a smooth element here so just go for smoothing those elements now those elements are quite a smooth element okay so similarly you can mask this surface also just go for select the surface go for mask make sure the opposite edges should have equal number of element so see right now what i'm going to do i'm assuming this edge is opposite to this one and these two combined edge are opposite to this one okay so for that i have to decide here same number of element as we have on this opposite edge so here we have total 12 and to 14 element i'm going to define here 8 element approx okay uh, so right now i have 10 element here and here also i'm going to define the 10 element and opposite edges on opposite edges also i'm going to define here 10 element just go for mesh style set all set all make sure those options quad and map as pentagon set all and just go for mesh okay now also you can go for smoothing little bit more now it's look pretty good okay and here we don't have too much sharp corner okay if you are going to create edge here that edge will be created like that so it will be more sharper so that's why i'm going to define a split on that point so again go for select this surface go for mass again we have to decide the opposite edges this edge i'm going to decide opposite to this one and these two combined edges will be opposite to this one so here we have 10 elements so here also we have to define 10 element and same here also i'm going to define the 10 element so the total element on this two opposite edges will be 13 so same number of element i have to decide here 13 just go for mass okay and go for mass style set all set all set all and go for mass so this type of massing will be up here and just go for smoothing it it will be more better okay and at the last you have to mass this surface okay this is uh, as rectangle so no need to exercise here too much so same number of element i have to decide here and same number of element i have to decide on these two opposite edges and Mesh style set all map as a rectangle set all and mesh. Sometimes this type of uh, difficulty you will face, so just check check off those two options, and you will get the better massing. So in this way you can create a good massing, and you can say better mesh flow also available here for the critical component, critical geometries. Many of software provide these facilities. But uh, here the things are quite easy to handle and not only the one geometry you can handle the multiple geometries at a time in the hypermesh environment and if you feel those uh, elements are quite dense just go for decrease the element density okay so in this video tutorial that's only I want to show you 
we will take one or two more geometries to massing purpose then we will go for check the element quality and remassing if element quality is not up to the requirement how to we can use utilize element cleanup options and remassing options to change the quality or we can say to get good quality element so thank you for listening if till now you not gone through the auto mass panel options that i explained in industrial massing first and industrial massing second videos i suggest to go through those then only use those options thank you again